Oh, hi guys, welcome to my most tutorial. Today we are rationalizing uh, state numbers. We are rationalizing them. Uh, what do I mean by rationalizing? For example, we are having a 6 over root 3 like that. You cannot have a set number as a denominator, right? You cannot have a set number as a denominator. At all times, it is mathematically wrong to have a set number as a denominator. So, to get rid of this set number from a denominator, this is what you do. You multiply, you multiply it by itself. So, in this case, we have a root 3. So, you are going to say root 3 times root 3. And what you did on the denominator, you must also do it on the numerator. So, it's going to be 6 times root 3 over root 3 times root 3. Remember, when we started our said, we said root a times root a, your answer is simply an a, right? So root 3 times root 3, your answer it will be a 3. So it's 6 root 3 over 3, of which we can simplify it further. 3 into 3 is 1, 3 into 6 is 2 times. So your answer is 2 root 3. So you cannot leave your answer as 6 over root 3. That's mathematically wrong. You are required to rationalize. Rationalizing, it simply means you are getting rid of a set number from the denominator, right? So that was our first example. Let's look uh, at the second example, which is um, 7 over root 18. 7 over the square root of 18. <coughs> Excuse me. So to simplify this, we are also going to multiply by root 18. And what we did on the denominator we must also do it on the numerator. We have 7 root 18 over 18. Because root 18 times root 18 is just 18. But I'm sure you agree with me that the square root of 18 is not fully simplified. It's the same as 7 root 9 times root 2. All over 18. The square root of 9, we know it's a what? Uh, it's a 3. So in other terms, you have 7 times 3, root 2 over 18. What is 7 times 3? It's 21. So it's 21 root 2 over 18. And we can reduce this number. There's a number that can get into 18 and can also get into 21, which is a 3. 3 into 18 is 6 times. 3 into 21 is 7 times. So our final solution is 7 root 2 over 6. What did we do? We simply got rid of our denominator, or our set number from the denominator, right? It's mathematically wrong to have a set number as your denominator, okay? So the next one uh, that we're going to look at today, it's 5 over root 5. 5 over root 5. 5 over the root of 5. You do the same, you multiply by root 5. What you did on the denominator, you must also do it on the numerator. So it's 5 root 5 over 5. The 5s will cancel out, so your answer will just be a root of 5. Then you are done. What about when they give you root 18 over root 2? How would you simplify this one? So this is the same as square root of 18 over 2. And you can simply divide 18 over 2 and say it's a 9. You remember the square root of 9, which is a 3. So the square root of 18 over the square root of 2, your answer will be a uh, square root of 9, which is a 3, right? Uh, what about when they give you a question like root 16? Oh, that's a bigger root. Root 16 over 7. How will you simplify this one? It's the same as root 16 over root 7. What is it that we don't want in on the denominator? It's a set number, right? So we have to multiply by root 7 on our denominator and also on our numerator. So we have root 16 times root 7. Root 16, we know it's a 4. 